Hello everyone, hope y'all are doing well. I am here with another box opening. I always joke this is kind of like basically just a box opening channel, but I actually acquired this doll in a trade. Um, so I think this should be a fairly quick and easy process. You can see it's in a little bit of a, um, you know, smaller box. So I think it's just the doll, but we will open it up and find out along with my, um, cat Penny here, who you might see <laughs> down in the corner. Um, actually she'll probably sit by my side the entire time. If I had to guess, uh, I just got back from a trip, <laughs> so I haven't even had the chance to really sit down and just pet her and cuddle her yet. <laughs> but this doll, um, did arrive a couple days ago, so I figured I'd open it because the sun is going to set here in the next, you know, 20, 30 minutes. So we'll open the doll and then give Penny lots of cuddles and attention. And you might see my other cat <laughs> run through here at some point as well. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and open this doll. So I am pretty sure it's just the doll. So we'll just slide her right out. I'm not sure if her face is covered. Okay, just got a diaper on. Alrighty, so there she is. And we will just open her up real quick and take a look. So I think I mentioned this, but I did acquire this doll in a trade. Um, so for anyone who may know, um, I had a doll. The sculpt was Mindy by Adri Stoetti. It was an open-eyed doll. And she was uh, like a large, preemie, super small newborn size. And... I did enjoy the doll. She was gorgeous. Um, but I can't, open eyes just really aren't for me. So, um, I do not have any open eyed dolls in my collection currently. It's back to all sleepers since I acquired this doll right here. And, um, I'll apologize for my nails too. They are, I hardly ever paint them, but I painted them for the trip I was just on and they just got totally destroyed <laughs> when we were in, uh, cause we spent a lot of time in the water. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I just figured that probably will distract and bother a lot of you. I know it's been bugging me, so it's on my to-do list, uh, coming up here to just take it off or maybe I'll redo them. I don't know. I hardly ever paint my nails. Enough of my babbling. Let's go ahead and take a look at this doll. So she's wrapped in one of these little, um, swaddles and it's a really nice, like light pink color. Super cute. Let's undo that. And look at this little pink sleeper she's in. That's so cute. I think this is um, Carter's, if I'm remembering right. And it's got a little bunny on it. Super, super cute. Oh, this doll's weighted really well, too. She feels nice. Okay. So there is the swaddle. Alright. Now let's go ahead. I don't know. Let's do... Let's do a traditional box opening. We'll take off her outfit and then take a look at her limbs and then her head here. So we'll unbutton this sleeper. <laughs> I wonder if the camera's picking it up, but Penny keeps uh, licking me. <laughs> she definitely wants lots of attention right now. Hi, baby girl. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, <laughs> back to the doll. Wow, look at these limbs. Oh, she's so pretty. I love this skin tone. And I'm sure I'll put it in the description of the video. So I'm sure most of you guys already know who the artist is and what sculpt this is. But I'm very, very familiar with this artist's work. And once again, it has not disappointed. Um, She is stunning. So I love the dry skin effect on this baby. I'm sure y'all can't see it because it's like on the side of her foot and my camera isn't great because I just use my iPhone, but oh, I love the detailing right here. She's got a lot of details like on her ankles, all of this veining and she's um, a real born sculpt, but I really love these legs. They're like slightly curled and then she's got two little fists, which I think are really cute, but babies very commonly, you know, have their hands and fists. Yeah, I'm loving the dry skin effect and the nails are just impeccable as always. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the face. Oh, I'm so excited. This doll's so pretty. 
All right, here we go. Da 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 da. It's um, Real Born Skya, and she's so so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm loving her hair. So for anyone who um, doesn't recognize the artist's work, this is a doll by Emily's Dream Dolls. And I actually, I looked it up just because I was curious. And this is actually the seventh doll that I've owned <laughs> that's been painted by Emily, which I think is kind of funny. But I really, I just truly love her work. I think it's immaculate. Always so well done. She is really cute. Oh, I'm very, I'm very, very happy with this, with this trade. I'm very grateful to the collector who, um, who traded with me. And I know she, um, messaged me a few days ago and was very, very happy with her doll that she received as well. So I'm so happy it all worked out. This is the second time I've done a trade and everything has just gone so smoothly. Like it's, it's really nice having kind of like a transaction with no cash involved. And, um, I've only traded with collectors who, you know, I recognize their names. I've seen their like photos over the years and I've gotten to know them slightly or, you know, at least know of their work and know, you know, a little bit about them. So it's always nice to kind of have that comfort of, you know, kind of like blindly putting your trust in someone who you haven't met before in person but you know if you're gonna do a transaction with them that you know it's all gonna go really smoothly which is exactly what happened in this case so I'm very pleased with that very happy it all worked out and yeah the sauce she's so pretty I'm very I'm so happy I mean my the doll I traded her for like I said it was gorgeous but the open eye dolls they're just they're just really not for me. I love the peaceful sleepers. And it doesn't get much more peaceful than this, honestly. She's so cute. I'm so happy. I love her proportions, too. She is just perfect. <laughs> honestly, I am very, very pleased with this doll. Um, so, yeah. That's all I have for y'all today. This was just a super quick one. But I will be sure to take photos, of course. And here's my, uh, you know, basically daily, every single video complaint about the light. <laughs> because we are, we are losing it right now. But I always try to take photos and wait for better light. And I always take my photos in natural light, if at all possible. So I am sure at some point during the week, I will take lots and lots of photos of this little one. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, um, I am on Instagram. Um, it's basically the same as my name here on YouTube. So Anne underscore little underscore nursery. Um, it's a private account. So only um, doll accounts are typically approved. But, but yeah, if you want to join in on the fun and check out my photos of this doll, if you're interested in seeing more of her. I am sure to do that in the next couple days here. So I hope you all have enjoyed seeing this newest addition to my collection. And we will talk again soon, I'm sure. So thanks for watching, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.